Forbidden Lands the sick draw. Okay. Maybe nobody likes you. So yesterday was a very busy day. We not only got ourselves a brand new box of cards to play with, but we also got ourselves the release of a brand new character, which also comes with a whole new range of skills as well as card rewards to mess with. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something else that happened yesterday? Oh that's right. We also got the release of some brand new ranked rewards. Seriously though, the chances of me ever making an Evo Tower video are similar to the chances of Cubic Dharma deciding to drop. So since both these new events suck ass, let's focus on the only thing that wasn't a complete letdown. The new box. And rather than try out the new archetype, let's continue the spree of resurrecting old ones. Time to bring back Karakuri. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was very impressed by this list. The new box cards performed way better than I expected. I ended up going on a 9 game win streak, some of which was shown on stream, easily raking up from Plat to Legend 2. Now I know this isn't exactly some huge achievement to marvel at, but I still thought it was pretty cool. So the new deck got 2 cards. Karakuri Bonds is a level 5 monster that can be special summoned from hand by changing the battle position of a Karakuri monster, and if you do, it becomes a tuner monster. But keep in mind, this will also lock your extra deck to only Earth Machine type monsters. Karakuri Cashin is the deck's new monster negate trap. It allows you to change the battle position of a Karakuri monster you control to target and negate the effect of a monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. This card also has the bonus effect of when it's in the grave, you can banish it to target one face up monster and change its battle position. Keep in mind, this can be done during your opponent's turn, even after activating its negate effect. Now essentially this deck is one big combo, so I suggest watching the gameplay for this as it's taken straight from my stream, so I do explain it there, as it's kinda hard for me to explain each individual combo, as they're quite long and there are multiple variants of each. The main aim is to summon two big synchro monsters. B-Ray is a level 7 synchro monster. When summoned, it allows you to special summon a Karakuri monster from deck, and once per turn it can target one monster on the field and change its battle position. Biredo is a level 8 synchro monster that also special summons a Karakuri monster from deck on summon. This card's bonus effect allows you to draw one card once per turn if a Karakuri monster changes its battle position. Outside the level 5, Karakuri has two other monsters. Ninishi allows you to normal summon an extra Karakuri monster each turn. Merchant when normal summoned can add one Karakuri card from deck to hand, which includes monsters and spell and traps. Speaking of spell and traps, the deck has 3 spell and trap cards excluding the new negate, all run at 1 copy due to them simply being searchable when you want them. Cash Cash can change the battle position of a Karakuri monster you control to add one level 4 or lower Karakuri monster from deck to hand. Karakuri Anatomy gains 1 counter up to a max of 2 whenever a Karakuri monster changes battle position, and can be sent to the grave to draw cards equal to the amount of counters. And Karakuri Gold Dust is a quick play spell that can select two Karakuri monsters you control, change the battle position of one of them, to grant the other attack equal to its attack. Alright guys, that's it for the deck list part of the video, the rest of the video will be gameplay taken straight from my stream, showcasing some of the cool combos this deck can do. Make sure if you do like the kind of content I produce, please leave a like, and if you want to see more deck lists from me, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. And if you want to see even more content from me, feel free to check out my Twitch channel, link should be at the top of the description as well as my Discord and Patreon as well. And if you happen to have a dollar lying around and wish to support me, feel free to click that join button down below to support me directly as well as gain access to a few little neat perks. Enjoy the gameplay! Or upon uh, downloading the stream and uh, editing it, it turns out that I sound like an absolute dum-dum and therefore don't want to put it in a video. Does happen, does happen. Oh shit, rank up game. And we open the Pogger's hand. Let's go! Everything we want. Sick ass hand. 
Alright. Wait, how do I want to do this? So I could just do this guy first, this thing, get the double summon later. Oh, we just do it now. I don't know what's correct. I don't care. Add the negate. This guy. Special summon. This guy. Your effect, bring out the new card. Synchro again. Bring it out this guy, and now we want to summon a monster in attack position, change it to defense, draw two in hopes we draw the spell and trap card negate. So what's the best monster to have in defense? I think we just grab one of these guys, right? Just have a fat stat stick on the board, sounds kind of nice. Attack position. Change defense. Just to draw three cards, by the way. Absolutely insane. Didn't draw what we wanted, though. That's fine. We got at least a, um, a lance. Uh, is there a point to searching now? Does it really matter? It's been search to see what we need next turn. No need, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, not a bad setup. One negate, we've got a forbidden lance, and a full board of monsters. <laughs> yeah, pogging boys. Actual fortune lady, okay. So what do I negate? I negate... Anything really, I think. Oh. Um... I'm not negating you. I refuse. Ah, took the bait. I think we're just negating every, right? So his attack becomes zero. Should we could negate that. Should we negate after it uses its effect though? That makes more sense, right? Oh, he doesn't even, might not even use the effect. Doesn't need to. Ah, that monster, huh? <laughs> that monster's actually a card. Yeah, nah, you're not doing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can stop that right now. That's a definite no, no. <laughs> I do not appreciate you trying to Black Crows Dragon me, buddy. We settle down, okay? Friendly duel. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Give me my hat. Why do you pay channel points for a hat? Oh, you did too. I mean, if you open it, it kind of feels good, I guess. Alright, change you. Add level 2. Actually, why do we add the, why did we add the level two? I mean, you can't add level seven that couple. What have you been saying? Level five, I mean. What are you even saying, Harry? All right. No more. 
add in a gate. Special summon out this guy. Use your effect. Bring out. Uh, so I'm going to change the battle position of. It's really mad. Actually, if we get, yeah, we've already used the double summon. If we draw into this with this on board, oh no, with this on board. So we should search for this because we might draw into this guy. So we should summon this guy in attack, change him to defense. It's just too easy. It's just too easy, guys, I'm telling you. We get Sam Destroyer. Try Sam Destroyer. We already have a character on board for the trap, so I guess we Sam Destroyer. I just guess there's another character. Nah, let's do this guy. Nah, it's not. We don't need Sam Destroyer, we have Hatronade. Wise last words. You don't need Samurai Destroyer. Very famous last words. Set that as bait for the Cosmics, and we're good to go. Hey, not a bad setup. I'd prefer to have a negate, a spell and trap negate as well, but for that. At least on the bright side, our monsters do have 2,000... Okay, never mind. Maybe he has to still search. Maybe he still has to search for his uh, thing to be useful. He doesn't. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, buddy. Shame we won't get to use that again. That's fine. I think. So we'll get this back. We can search for a tuna. And do another synchro. Oh my god. Uh, we can kill all three. We can kill all three. Chino, right? Right, normal to Chino. Synchro out, big boy. And Mr. 2000 attack. We could draw one card by changing the battle position. We're going to do that anyway with this, right? So I think we change one of his things to attack, so it just takes a little bit more damage. This isn't lethal, right? I don't think it's lethal. No, it's not lethal. No way. We're still gonna do it this though, so we wanna get rid of it. Set the monster changes battle position. Uh, 
Probably the weaker one. I don't want to do the maths for Destiny. Draw, we're running out of time. Fuck, we're giving Destiny draw. At least we have cash in, I guess. There's not a whole lot he can draw though, so he needs like to get full combo again. And he's already sent a lot of his stuff to the grave. He has to get like full combo again. And even with full combo, he's only gonna banish one of our guys. Curtain? I guess that works. Banish this. Destroy this by battle. And summon a monster for us to use our negate on, right? Oh, are we really gonna lose this? Actually, we can reduce this and kill it over it. They just lance alone. I guess drawing the chainer is best. Oh, he hasn't a gate, we can't. Oh, Trina. Sometimes lucky, boys. Sometimes lucky. I can't even get anyway, because we'll be doing damage step. We had a way to remove this anyway. Even if we didn't get a bit of luck with the top deck. He's reduced, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's make sure. Okay, now that was a good jewel. Hey, big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.